This is disgusting stuff. It's really nasty. Um, so <clears throat> I'm gonna take some measurements. I have all my, uh, I guess my blueprints and plans drawn out with uh, how I'm gonna create that, uh, I guess channel or groove for the door to sit flush with the deck on. Uh, we're gonna see if I can get this on the first try. We're gonna do a couple of measurements here and there. And uh, got out the table saw, cut some of it. I'm thinking that square that I cut out <clears throat> down there We'll be able to do a majority of it with um i know i'm gonna need some pieces that are a little bit longer but uh <clears throat> yeah should be able to make it work i think uh this is obviously the hardest way to do this possible <clears throat> i'm trying to create the frame here based off of these measurements and it's just too difficult so I'm gonna pull this floor up and uh, take it out flip it upside down actually <clears throat> and then measure it because I'm just I, I can't move in this freaking suit at all so yeah instead of working stupid we're gonna work smart and not hard <laughs> Take a quick break from the queen real quick. Uh, <clears throat> explain what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm kind of an idiot when it comes to this stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna be squaring everything up instead of making 45 for my cuts for the piece of piece that's gonna go in here to hold this frame together. So with that being said, I'm gonna overlap the two back pieces. These pieces here, because they're gonna be wider, it'll be three inches wide. Um, and this is only going to be one inch wide so I'm going to be able to make my measurements on each corner and not have to come back I can just take them all at once and hopefully they fit in there nice and snug that doesn't make sense there's going to be a three inch piece here and a one inch piece here but the three inch piece is going to extend out an inch past this hole and then I'll have a one inch piece running on the outside the uh, left and right parts and I want to make sure I get all the measurements right We'll go back to the queen. I'm an idiot. I know it. I'm over here debating myself. That stupid square that I have is an inch and a half wide. And uh, this is an inch and a half. I thought it was an inch. This is two inches. So I needed that one inch rip. And I was looking and like that's not right. But uh, yeah, it's an inch. Try it again. All right, two down, two to go. So I've got a predicament. I could use this piece of kusa here. But I like how this is already glass in the back. This is 42 inches, I need 45 and a half. I don't know if it'd be worth it to put two blocks on the end and leave this in the middle. Like cut it 42 and a half inches and then I need 45 and a half so I'd have to have two 1.75 inch squares on each end, I guess, right? If my math is correct, probably not correct. No, I think I just need to do it right. Too many cuts. I'll we'll find use for that somewhere else. All right, so what I've determined, in order to make this work the way I envisioned it, I'm gonna have to add two inches. Um, 
to the width of this. So that way it'll stick out. That'll give me an inch and a half piece to rest, in place, to rest up underneath the bottom of the hatch and then a half an inch rain gutter for it to sit in so it sits flush. So this is three inches, it's gonna be five. This is an inch, it's gonna be three. Everything's gonna stick out. It's gonna close in the hole two inches. I'm gonna lose two inches out of the hole, but uh, someone's gotta make sacrifices, I guess. That fits nicely under there. Looks great. is going to work out just fine. <clears throat> so I'm going to add three inches to this piece here. And take away an inch and a half from this piece. And that should work. I just love GoPros. They work so great. We're gonna use this again, because it's nice, looks pretty. So I'm pretty sure I forgot something on here. God dang it, and there you go, goodbye. Oh, you're still here. Great. So I forgot to add that since I was adding three inches to that side, forgot to take away an inch and a half, or sorry, an inch from these. But before I get too carried away and make bad decisions, I'm just gonna measure these out to 45 and a half and see what happens. I was lucky, this is the bottom of a piece of kusa, so, uh, there we go. I had a nice square straight edge on here. All right, kiddos, let's go back inside and uh, see if this worked out. I think I'm going to have to trim an inch off each side. We'll see. Finally made it inside. The old workshop. <clears throat> We're going to see if this door frame actually is worth the shit. I'm just blowing smoke up my ass. All right. I know this looks like a giant cluster. You know what? <clears throat> but it kind of turned out exactly the way that I wanted it to. Uh, I hate to admit it, but I think I'm going to recut two more pieces of this. And uh, make these a little bit longer so they butt up to here. I need to add three inches to them. I'm just an idiot. And yeah. So maybe I can reuse these somewhere else for something. But they need to be longer. I did three inches instead of six. Hopefully I have enough left. I'm uh, trying to build so you can at least see it. And hopefully it'll explain. Oh, I'm messing behind my bag. So this is going to be the first layer underneath the floor. I'm doing it backwards, sorry, bear with me. Ah, shit, alright.
All right, so I think I got this figured out now. <laughs> it's taking way longer than I thought, but uh, I'm gonna do my best to put it together the way that I want it to be. That's a wrap. I hope that made sense now. Uh, I've realized in making this video that this is a whole, well, I am very not at describing steps on how to do things, but now for the moment that I've been waiting for is to see if the hatch will fit down inside here. That's all I want. And we will see. that we now have a hatch holder for the hatch she's a little tight i'm going to do some sanding on the back sides to make a fit but i'll tell you what i am thoroughly impressed and with the amount of floor that's going to be up here that's where she's going to sit on the floor it'll be pretty darn flush if you ask me this part's bowing down a little in the middle but I uh, did not think that this was going to work, but it did. It worked out quite well, actually. You see right here, floor is three quarter of an inch. She'll be sitting nice and flush on there. Maybe a little bit of room. Stick up a little bit, but not too entirely concerned about that. Overall, and this isn't glass together, like this is going to be I'm gonna fiberglass all this all these pieces together I'll uh, probably take them off one by one and then uh, re hit them with the, the drill and then come by and really fine-tune it to where it fits the door but yeah we have got a door hatch pretty impressed that's about all the learning I'm gonna do today feel pretty accomplished took way longer than expected but hey what can you do